you suddenly find yourself with a large collection of arts, antiques, and other collectibles, but you're wondering whether or not it's worth anything. Hi there, I'm Joy Zucker team, and joining me today is Tom Patty, a worthologist with worthpoint.com. Tom, tell me a little bit about WorthPoint and your new program, the WorthPoint Estate Advisor Service. WorthPoint is a premier website where buyers, sellers, uh, collectors come to to find out the value of items, uh, where to buy, where to sell, and how to get a value on the items and get honest answers. I understand that WorthPoint is offering a new member service. Can you tell me about that? It's, it's our estate advisor service. Who will most benefit from a service like this? The empty nester, the person who is getting ready to retire, who's downsizing from a five or six bedroom home to a two bedroom condo in Arizona or Florida. It's also for the person who has inherited an estate. And we talked about the fact that people wind up with this great collection of stuff, whether they were the collector or whether they inherited things along the way. So once they make the decision to get it all sort of evaluated, aren't they afraid of getting ripped off? We don't have a personal gain to be made from anything that we're doing as far as this process goes. We don't buy the items. You know, we subscribe to uh, the USPAP practices. You're talking about the USPAP, your code of ethics called the Uniform Standards of Professional Appraisal Practice. That's correct. And our code of ethics is a little more stringent than, than most. Uh, um, so you can be assured that, that Number one, we aren't going to buy anything. Uh, and, and that's the biggest thing when you're dealing with anything in the antiques and collectibles field, that you're totally, you aren't biased. You aren't there to, to make a profit. In this process, you don't have to worry about someone undervaluing an item and then trying to buy it, uh, not getting the the proper evaluation on the item. We want to bring a product that we put all that you can put all of your faith in and we stand behind it hundred percent. WorthPoint is is here to level the playing field, you know, between the members, between John Q public and, and the rest of the world. Uh, we want you to be on the same level as an expert in the field that approaches an auction company about selling items or that goes to an attorney uh, uh, to settle an estate so that, that you have a comprehensive view, you have something that, that you can more or less take to the bank uh, uh, that's based on real-time information and, and realistic values. Well, Tom, tell me how this works. Sort of give me the step-by-step -step breakdown. Okay, first you need to contact WorthPoint via email. You go to our site, click on the WorthPoint Estate Advisor tab, and you'll find lots of detailed information, and, and that is where you can tell us what you need. Once we know what you need, we will contact you and explain the process. We will put together a plan tailored to your needs because every situation is different. Step four, you decide which way to go an evaluation or an appraisal. We send you an agreement describing the service and what we're doing. You sign it and get it back to us. Okay, you've taken me through five steps. Is there any other step? Yes, there's a step six, and that's once the contract is signed or the agreement is signed, the, the appropriate worthologist is assigned to the task. So, or worthologist, it, it may take five people to, to you know, complete the project and then you receive uh, a written appraisal or evaluation using the USPAP principles and uh, on letterhead, and it's a hard copy that is, that is mailed to you. Is there a cost? And cost varies from one scenario to another because th there are different needs for, for different people. Uh, in most cases, a simple evaluation may just be needed on one or two items. The easiest way to take care of that is simply on our site, it's asking a worthologist. And for a nominal fee, you can get an evaluation of an item, giving you some background and history, along with a price range of what similar items sell for. The other process 
in, in the appraisal process. What we will do is design the product so that it's, it's not so intense. We'll give you a concise overview, uh, a written appraisal on the item using a fair market value that this item in this condition typically sells for. And it's a realistic figure. If you have an item that, that you are insuring, or you want to be sure that it is insured for a proper price. The values there, needless to say, differ because the fair market value of an item that is sold at auction and the fair market value of an item that needs to be replaced, two totally different things because you're buying in two totally different venues. Can I just ask someone in my hometown? Sure you can. You need to, to know the person's qualifications, what they do, the, the cheapest appraisal is not necessarily the best appraisal. Sure. Quite often it can turn out to be just the opposite. The fact that we reach worldwide and nationwide is a huge thing because we're familiar with the market, both the retail market and the auction market. So Worth Point brings a lot to the table in evaluations and appraisals from their experience. Where can I find more detailed information? For that, you can go to the Worth Point Estate Advisor tab, click on that. That'll take you to where you can email information and we can talk about it. Anything else you want to mention? Anything we haven't touched on yet, Tom? That piece that you're getting ready to throw away or that half a dumpster full of items that you've already thrown out of the house, don't do it. Have someone look at it that, that is knowledgeable, that knows what's going on. A lot of history is thrown away. Thanks, Tom. So whether you want to get an appraisal on one, several items, an entire collection, or an entire estate, there's no question. To determine the worth, there's one place to go to, and that's Worth Point.